Hello and welcome to this test I.O. tutorial video. Today I'm going to talk about retrieving crash logs from iOS devices, such as your iPad, iPhone or iPod. So how do we identify a crashed application? Normally applications do not terminate by themselves and before a crash you will notice uh, that the app doesn't work properly anymore, maybe it slows down or freezes and uh, when the application crashes it takes you back to the home screen. In some rare cases it is possible that your iPhone freezes completely, then you have to perform a hard reset and you can do this by pressing and holding down the power button and the home button simultaneously depending on your device. Now let's go on with causes for an app crash. Me as a programmer I'm facing a lot of causes for an app crash, but invalid operations not allowed by the US, buffer overflows and read or write attempts from to unallocated memory and unhandled exceptions in general are the most common ones. If you like to learn more about this, please feel free to search those terms in your favorite search engine. Now I would like to show you a real world example. This is a game I programmed several years ago. Basically it's a match 3 game. For this tutorial I programmed a bug into the game, which makes it impossible to even finish uh, the first level. Um, the app will crash whenever we reach 50% of any goal. So we have three goals here. We have to dissolve 20 red marbles, 25 blue ones and 30 yellow marbles. So whenever we uh, dissolve 10, 12 or 15, the app is going to crash. So I just click on play. At the top you can see the goals and I just start playing. So I start moving uh, the bar in order to remove those yellow marbles here. As you can see we have 12 and 10 percent. So everything seems to be okay at this point. And I just go on and uh, yes, now we have 24 and 10 percent. Everything is good. Uh, 24 and 20. So um, I just uh, move this bar down and uh, boom. The application crashed here and before the crash there was a slight delay and this is a point where the crash log was written to the disk. So now that we have enough evidence that a crash happened on this application, the next thing to do is to connect the device to your computer and start the iTunes software. It's the same for Windows and Mac computers and at the top you will find a little icon over there. When you click on it, it will lead you to this iPhone information screen. There it is. Uh, you can see here the serial number and the installed OS version. And uh, at the bottom you will find a sync button which starts the synchronization process. This process can take quite a while. It depends on when you uh, synchronize the last time. Uh, we can see here that uh, diagnostic information is copied and it will include our crash logs. When the copying process is finished, you have to click on your desktop and press the keys Shift, Command and G in order to open the Go to Folder dialog. In this dialog, you have to enter the path to the crash logs manually. On a Mac computer, it's Tilde, Library, Logs, Crash Reporter, Mobile Device. When you click on Go, the final window will appear and show you the entries which were downloaded. On your computer, you will possibly find many more items here, but it's easy to get the correct crash log because it's named after the application, in this case, Test Game. It's likely that you find more than one crash log of the application, so please make sure to select the crash log with the correct timestamp. When using Windows 7 or later, you will find the crash logs in the following folder. C. Users, your username, app data, roaming, Apple computer logs, crash reporter, mobile device. So, we learned today how to identify a crashed application and how to retrieve crash logs. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and see you on the next video. Bye bye.